life, whatever. So just doing a live haul, y'all. A live haul, y'all. First, Trish, you're not first. What's up, Richard? Um, Barry, which is first? And aren't you guys like down there kind of together? I got my whatnot stuff. Love it. Sophia, I'm glad. This is where we do it out of, right? Um, I hope it's okay. Again, for me, it's always been kind of cringe to sell to people, but you know, it is what it is. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like this stuff. You're always first. You probably are. Um, are those things vintage spicy water bottles behind you? Yes. So I can talk about those if you want. What's up over on? This is very informal, just a thrift haul. Here's that cognac that is um, in the Bach Rock bottle with the matching stopper. And they're both numbered on the bottom. And it's really important for them to have the same number, which they do. So they're both numbered 151. So Backrock's a crystal company, and they obviously specifically made bottles for for Louis the whatever. This is a Haig and Haig, just an old World War pre-war, because during Prohibition they thought you know they would uh, get in trouble and get rid of it. This is a same thing pre-war with the label on it, Johnny Walker, super old bottle, so super old bottle. But I don't drink, but I think these are cool and I collect them. So, and here's a, here's another one. So, another one with the original stopper. So, just kind of cool, unopened. Estate stale stuff found in the basement. What's up, Trish? Or what's up, Tams? What's up, little Denny? Will those, uh, will this be on YouTube? Yes. So, this will be saved on YouTube. Are you, if you're just now joining, um, I actually, I'll show you. I got a new laptop so I can do my live streams from wherever. And so this will be on YouTube and Facebook. You can watch it later. So it might be a little long, a little lengthy, sorry. But we're going to go over everything I bought um, with Bearded yesterday. We went 9 to 9, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. New record, 17 thrift stores. So 17 thrift stores in a day. And we could have hit more. We, we ate dinner. It took about 45 minutes. I uh, haven't seen you in a while. I know rescue. I don't know. I don't know. Been busy been busy so what's up heather so if you need uh to find my western i know it's it's in the storage unit it is in the storage unit yep louis the 13th right louis the 13th yep x i i i wish uh, change of local surf then i know so this is this is all my cool stuff i could sit here and play show and tell all day long so you know my surf truck that I is my logo and everything. My surf truck. These are the original. Um, these are the original speedometer. This is the original speedometer out of that surf truck. So this one, and then this is the original tachometer. So 19, 1949 Chevy truck. So these are the original. So that's my surf truck that I built. These are the originals out of it. Got some of those. But let's get into it. What did I get? What did I get? Any live thrifts uh, lately? I'm just missing them. No, I haven't done any live thrifts. The problem is I go into these thrift stores like with Bearded, and we are in and out trying to hit as many as we can. And live thrifting can take a while, which is fine. I like it. But um, when we're trying to go like nonstop, that's what we do. That's what we do. What's up, Wowsies? You hung out with Bearded for 12 hours? I'm impressed. Bearded, he needed a nap to keep up with me. Put it that way. I need some of those motivating. Uh, my Red Bull hasn't kicked in. Miss your lives. Hey, well, let's go. I'm going to be here on for a while. So I have my monster. You know, I'm always, hopefully one day in like one of my shops, I'll have monster or something. Um, or they'll just sponsor me and give me free monster. I don't need to sell it. So thanks, Jen. So this is the turn of the century room is what I call it. All right. Are you thrifting today? Jesse, I'm not. I thrifted all day yesterday, 12 to 12, and we're going to go over everything I got. Um, where's the Pappy Van Winkle? I don't have any Pappy. I don't have any Pappy. Um, yeah, Pappy is like extremely rare bourbon. There's actually a cool Netflix, Netflix series on it, I think. Netflix series where the it was like people were stealing it. It's like back in 2006 or seven when it was really a big deal, or nine or eight. Uh, did you ever see that documentary? Yeah, there we go. Just talking about that. What's up, Amber? 
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Smith. I don't like watching live thrifting as much as I used to. I get it rescued. And to be honest, I don't like wasting people's time. Um, in my thrift stores, it's not like uh, when I was down in Florida, when I went to red, white, and blue, where it was like good piece, good piece, good piece, bad piece, good piece, good piece, bad piece. Mine are bad, 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 bad. And you get like one bag out of the store. So it's a big waste of time for, for you guys, in my opinion, to watch. I'd rather just talk to you, answer questions, stuff like that. What's up, Blended? Blended, I like your videos. They're so, they're not like what we do, you know, and you're, you know, all your, your tanzanites, all your stones and everything. It's just so cool. I really like watching your videos. Good morning, Ellie. Um, Casey, what is up? Casey is an inspiration for one of the items I picked up. Vintage Tommy Bahama jeans and they're Tommy jeans, which I used to always think were worse than Tommy. I'm going to list them today and we're going to see how they do. Do you have a tax ID for taxes or do you uh, use your social security number? I'm new to this. Help, get a CPA. I'm telling you, we always talk about it, but you need to get a good CPA. I've had one for a long time. They know me in and out. I use the same type of method spreadsheet every year so I can go off my template from last year, put on all my numbers. But um, I don't have a tax ID. I use my social security number. So I don't have an LLC either. Close your blinds. Do you want me to close my blinds? Would that make it better? Or is that okay? I want you guys to be able to see everything I'm getting, that I got though, right? So I want you to be able to see it. Um, is it worth to keep delist and relisting inventory uh, for over a year and down under $10? Um, is it worth to keep delist and relisting inventory over a year? If I have inventory that's over a year old, which I probably do for sure, um, that is like $20 and it hasn't sold and it's gone through a full season, like all the stuff that's gone through winter and hasn't sold, I'll probably, yeah, I'll mark it down, get that money back and go buy something good. So that $20, you could go out and buy three of these 3XB Polo Ralph Lauren shirts and make that money really quickly instead of just that money sitting there collecting dust. So by the way, if you guys remember when I was on live the other day, I talked about Disney stock and how I got Disney stock when it's down. Well, it's up 10% today alone. Um, I always I always like buying deals and you got to buy those deals when they're down. Sure, so Wade's been saying Tommy Hilfiger is back. Are you seeing that? He, because we've been talking. We've been talking. Um, I feel so special. Casey, you are the reason. Uh, in fact, I thrift it for my buddy. I thrift it for my buddy and he uh, doesn't... Uh, I, I still don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked up comps at all. I just know Casey has sent me a message of a picture of a pair that she sold. And they were really baggy from the 90s. So I'll show you in a, in a little bit what they look like. Um, so I'm starting to find a category to sell. I think. NFL, do you think it sells year-round? Since your Super Bowl almost over, do you think it's still? Good question. So um, I like to sell NFL and college apparel that is licensed um, with the company. So if Nike is their sponsor, their license E that year, whatever you'd call it, the college is sponsored through Nike. I like Nike, Reebok, Adidas, whatever it may be. I don't like buying like the stuff you buy at Kroger or Target that's off brand. Um, I only like buying if it's specific to like right now, Nike released today, Kobe Bryant's uh, another Kobe Bryant jersey. I'd want that jersey Nike. I'd want that Nike jersey. I wouldn't want an off-brand just that says NBA on it and no Nike or anything like that. That's not going to sell very well. So what's up, flipping Nurse? Do I like tequila? No, I don't drink. When I have drank, I don't like tequila. Uh, I've sold, um, I sold in my closet those three years ago, asking price, uh, if you got storage. Yeah, so when it comes to NFL stuff too, uh, what I what I'm doing right now, NFL and college football, I'm, I put that away again. You don't have to if if that's all you have listed now. But I, you know me, I seasonal. Um, I put that away until the beginning of August, and then I list it. So if you've been following me since then, you know I do that. I list all that stuff in August. Again, the reason being, everyone thinks their team is going to be really really good. Everyone thinks their team's going to the Super Bowl, national championship, whatever it may be. So everyone's buying that stuff. It can even be logos, like college logos on a polo shirt. I sell all that stuff. I list all that stuff in August, and it sells quick. 
But once it comes October, November, and people's teams suck, which is like three fourths of the leagues, then that stuff doesn't sell. So like right now, NBA stuff sells pretty well. College basketball stuff sells pretty well. I got some NBA stuff in here. Serves, um, what's up, everybody? Let's see. Yo, finally made a thrifting TikTok. Your videos have helped me uh, getting started. Good. Wifey Thrifty, to be honest, my my short form videos aren't really like the most helpful as far as what to find. Um, these are what's most helpful. So like I released yesterday, I didn't even post anything about it anywhere. But yesterday on YouTube, I released like my top 10 sales, thrifting sales, my top 10 thrifting sales on eBay in January. And then my top, a couple good retail arbitrage. So on YouTube is where I put, let me turn that down. Um, YouTube is where I put all that stuff in Facebook, Facebook and YouTube. So, and Instagram. Good morning, Kim. Should we get into this? We love tequila 1942, Don Julio. Hey, if it's worth money, it can be up, up, up here, but it has to be vintage original. It has to be vintage original. I'm sitting here looking at that, that, um, golf flag that I bought. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't want to ship that box. I, it's that, I hate shipping picture frames. They're the worst. Let me show you real quick. If you didn't watch my short, this thing, remember this thing? Yeah. So I don't want to ship this. So what I'll probably do is just list it locally. Let someone local pick it up. Again, I paid $10 for it. So I don't care if I, someone can have it for a hundred. Good morning, Sage. Good morning, everybody. The mongoose. All right, let's go over to thrift hall. If you just saw my video I released, I found this pair of shoes. Here's one of them. So I've never found this pair of shoes. Again, when you're doing this long enough, you just can tell quality right away. You guys know that. Sorry if it's an echo in here, but it is what it is. Um, but these came out on a cart in a nice area of town. And there were some other good shoes on there. And I saw these. I'm like, these look quality. I'm going to look them up. Right when I did that, I was with Bearded. And a lady that I thrift with, super nice lady, came in and was like, oh. I'm like, yeah, just pick these up. I'm going to check them out. I think they're good. And she crapped herself. So whatever brand that is, whatever brand that is, is it flipped for you guys? I don't, I don't know if it's flipped. I don't think I flipped it for you. So mirror. There you go. So that brand, I'm going to come over to you, YouTube and Facebook next. So I never heard of that brand for $6. My wife, Shelby, she doesn't wear stuff like that, but she was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you found that. So I thought those were cool. Do I sell on Poshmark? I don't, but I'm not against it. Uh, it might happen this year. If I use Auto Posher, which is an awesome service. When it comes out with a cross lister, I'll probably do it. Right now I'm making... 14, 15 sales a day on eBay, 12 to 15 sales. So I'm okay. Um, and I don't want to pay for another service right now to cross list. What are your best finds today? We're going to go over everything. Most stuff. That's a new brand to me. I've never found that brand. I don't know if I did. My wife says it's like, like similar to Jimmy shoe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew, I have no idea, but her hope those are Shelby size. She not, she don't wear that stuff. She'd be like, sell that. Give me some dunks. Casey, you already know. She'll say, give me some dunks. Oh, my gosh. Patriot Girl, are those good? These are something I feel like I'd find in Naples. So, and Benita in Naples, where you are. Hey, hey, what's up? Pep, we All right. So, I always talk to people. My average cost of goods is $5.25. I talk about that all the time. All my shirts are $4.99. So, you're going to see shirts are $4.99. I don't pay much up for shoes. Six bucks for these. This is just a Polo 3XB, $5. If you're new here, you're new to Facebook, you're new to um, YouTube or whatever, I know a lot of you are resellers and you know these things, but I will repeat myself and talk about how much I get for these. Because this is a nice blue pinstripe with the pony that is like the, the brown and colorful pony, um, this will go for around 25, 26 plus ship. So that's how much that will sell for. Uh, Sammy's. Yes. And, and I did get the, uh, you guys probably saw the breads, but in Shelby size, I don't think she wants them. These are gingham check. Oh shoot. It's going to be coming in on me. Ah. All right. These are gingham check Polo Ralph Lauren, um, swim trunks. So they have the little horse right there. Gingham check. I have found to be 
the best selling gingham check I've found to be the best selling for Polo Ralph Lauren. So these are the newer tag. I'm guessing these are $3.99. All of our shorts are $3.99. I don't know how much you guys think these will sell for. I'm thinking around 22 plus shipping. In ground, this thing weighs like eight ounces. 200 plus dollars for those shoes. Maybe, I don't know. I literally haven't looked them up. I haven't looked up any of this stuff. I got home last night at 10 um, and my daughter was throwing up and everything. My wife took care of her, but she was throwing up all night. So I was up with her. She's here sick now. So I haven't looked up anything. I haven't done anything. You can check Polo Ralph Lauren boxer shorts. I don't know about boxer shorts. These are swim trunks. Andrew, these are swim trunks. Look, yeah. The thing is, my blinds, I have blinds and then a couple windows over the blinds. So no matter what, I'm going to have sun in my face. It is what it is. Retail. Are they $800 retail? I don't know. If you watch Sex in the City, you would know that brand. Retail is $800 plus. That's what that lady said. She was like, you watch Sex in the City? Nope. I know Sex in the City, but I haven't watched it. So here's the other one. Um, so those are cool. And the, the it, it's like this every time. If you guys do like, I like doing my videos and putting them on YouTube. You guys might like not like them, but when I go thrifting all day long by myself, I'll have like my GoPro and I'll go through everything I find. Yesterday was the same way. It is slow, slow. And then it just gets better and better and better as the day goes on. So if I only thrifted for two hours yesterday, I would have been so down and out and probably wanted to give up on thrifting. Got to head back to work. It was good seeing you online. See you, Jen. Appreciate you coming in. Again, this will be on uh, – I know you get on YouTube and, and stuff, so you can watch it later if you want to. So um, dust bunnies attack. Are there dust bunnies? The sun's coming in. Yeah, it's going to look like dust bunnies. Okay. These are a bolo. You want to look out for these. So any NBA Adidas like this with a stitched emblem, so with the stitched logo, any of these, I think even a college, but definitely NBA, these are called Swingman Shorts. So Swingman Shorts, I haven't looked up these, but I've sold different, um, different teams in the past. I've sold some all the way up to $100. Uh, so I don't know if they were college or NBA, but the swing man with Adidas, Adidas does not, um, Adidas, these are a little bit older. These are from 2011. So on the Adidas shorts, you can see the date. These are 2011. So swing mail, swing man, do good. Finally found you, Audra. What's up? You did find me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Been looking for you on, on tick. I'm here. I'm on tick. I'm on all of the channels right now. What's up, Smoky Mountain Thrifts? So this is kind of cool. Sirs, what's up, Amy D? Please tell me you got that eggplant. Guys, I can go get that eggplant. Did you see my uh, Facebook and TikTok? Um, you know how K-Way, like his, his uh, we think of K-Way, we think of a lot of things. And one of the things we think about is our eggplants. For some reason, that's his mascot, eggplants, right? So I found an eggplant that was probably one, two, three feet long yesterday at Sierra. Um, we went thrifting all day long. And then at 9 to 9.30, Sierra was open till 9.30. We went to Sierra and I got some things to retail arbitrage. But yes, I know. I should send it to him. I should send it to him. All right. So this was kind of cool. I don't get a whole bunch of vintage stuff, but check this out. I'm pretty sure this is Cornell University. Cornell. Cornell. And that's Ivy League. So this is an Ivy League vintage polo shirt made in the USA. Super vintage. I know it's tough to see with that, with that sun glare. But look at this. New old stock. Brand new with the old original tag. So that's pretty cool. Um, original tag, brand new. I don't know how much this is worth. I just thought it was cool. Even the stitching, like you can tell it's never been washed or anything. But Cornell University, I find that anything Ivy League, for some reason, is popular. Unless those clouds cover that sun, we're just going to have to deal with it. What do you need, Amy D? You need what? What did I do? What do you need? Do you need you need the eggplant emoji? I can go get those. They had plenty. I don't know how much they were. I actually think those were dog toys, to be honest. Now that you sell 10 to 15 items a day, how big is your store and how many um, do you post today? Really good question. So I 
tag my store. Um, so if you wherever you are, I have a link tree somewhere in my description or somewhere on my page, and you can go to my store. And across every platform and eBay, it surfs up finds. So you can see and look up all everything I've sold. So you can see I'm transparent. Um, but I've been selling, yeah, about 12 to 15 items a day. And I've been listing 15 items a day every single day. Yesterday was the exception. I did not get 15. But I think I can bump it up to 20. Um, so I think I can bump that up to 20. I'd like to bump, especially when spring hits, I can bump it up to 20. 15 to 20 items a day. My store is at 1,500 items right now. So my store's at 1,500 items, um, 1,491, 1,491. Ooh, and I hit a new 90-day total money-wise. So that's good too. Uh, Angel Light. I know, Reisner. Reisner, how about your Monster Energy Drink uh, video? How cool was that? Reisner's so talented. She threaded through a Monster Energy Drink. Okay. Let's keep going through what we got. I'll answer questions. You guys know um, I do my one not shows women stuff. I pass over a ton. If it's not in good condition, I'm not going to get it. I'm only going to get like really good stuff. So this is an Athleta. And I don't get, I, I see a ton of Athleta, but I don't get a lot of it. But this is a really, really soft, long cardigan. So I think this is, just, what size is this? Medium? Yeah. Really soft, really long. It's almost like a barefoot dreams. So I thought that was a good pickup. Um, and that was $4.99. And again, when it comes to whatnot, I, I truly don't care. Like if someone wants to resell it or buy it for themselves, like I'm fine. As long as like I don't lose money, I'm cool with that. Um, let me make sure. Uh, killing it. I'm glad you guys are talking to each other because I can't keep up with that. Um I can't get my uh, listed totals above 1900. Keeps just keep selling. <laughs> that's a great thing, um, Andrew. That's that's what I've been dealing with, but that's fine. That means you're listing the stuff right and you're listing the right items. So 1500 is what I keep getting at. Every time I get to 1500, I'm selling stuff. I, I never stay over 1500. Um, and now that I'm selling 15 a day, I yeah, I, I, I need to bump it up. So Jesse, you're right. I need to bump it up. So here you go. I was going through the women's section. Now that I'm going through women's clothing, because yesterday Bearded would go look at some stuff and I would be finished with the men's section. And this was over in the women's section. So a Peter Millar. Um, this Peter Millar right here. And I like the Peter Millar quarter zips. And it has a little hit on the back, which is good, of course. You guys know. And it has, I'm not going to show you, but they're little, mar they're just little like martini. So any Peter Millar. That's all over print like that. These things are selling. So the Peter Millar, Peter Millar that are like striped, they don't sell very well. But in the women's section, $5 when I found this, I was super excited because that would have been gone like that in the men's section. Uh, what's up, dude? Bull North Flips. What's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Um, I found that same one, that Peter Millar. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be yeah, – I haven't even talked about how much stuff will go for, but um, I think this will probably go for around $35, maybe like $40 plus ship. Uh, $50 easy, Chase says. Well, Chase, you might be then. I might do that. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I found a Peter Millar Truly Polo yesterday. Ooh, yes, Truly, like the drink Truly. Yes, so a lot of, a lot of distributors get good – golf brands and they have logos on them. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, like Tito's or whatever. I buy all those. Miller Lite, we have a ton of those here in Indy because the 500. So we have a ton of distributors during that time of year. And then they they hire people for just that and then they donate all the stuff. So I always buy that. It sells well. Here is a super floral. If this was a, a Robert Graham, this would be like a $100 piece, but it's not. Again, Trisha, if you're still in here, you are, I think I see you. It's a freaking Allen Flusser. So this is an Allen Flusser, all over print, um, flowers. It is cotton, but it's $5. What do you guys think? Allen Flusser, if it's really crazy, I have sold one. Trisha sells them all the time. So if they're really crazy print, I'm going to pick it up. I think that's going to be like a, 
a $20 item and when I find them often, it's going to end up turning into the surf's up. So I can list it in like two minutes. Someone do that. Nice find. I never pick them up. I never did either. In fact, before I even started doing lives way back in the day, I said brands not to pick up. You can go back and watch the video. Um, and that was one of them. And then I got called out and they do sell. Have you changed how you ship since eBay added cubic? I haven't, Richard. I haven't changed it. Um, I've actually noticed, and I was talking to Beater yesterday, that ground is super cheap right now. So I've been listing a lot of my stuff ground. Uh, even if it's even if it's more than like two pounds, a lot of times I'll put it in priority because it's around, it used to be around the same price as first class when it was first class. But ground has been really, really cheap lately. So I've been doing ground. Uh, happens to me. I never pick them up. Yep. Um, Surfs does the um, patented no look ship. Uh, does the patented no look ship? Tell me about that. I, Andrew, re ask that question. I haven't used the flat rate since the increase. Yeah. Um, I still use flat rate on jeans and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely going to be listing a lot more with ground. It's been cheaper. So this is just a Polo Ralph Lauren. Again, um, this guy was $5. You guys know my shirts. I know I don't really need to get into detail, but this is a unique Polo Ralph Lauren because it has the double chest pockets on it. So it has the double chest pockets and um, it has this thicker collar and it has like the military writing. So on some Polo Ralph Lauren, you'll see the military writing like right in here. Um, that's always like a sign that it was it was at a better store. It wasn't like at an outlet. So this will probably sell for around $25 or to $30 plus shipping. So everything I do is plus shipping. I'm just going to show you guys all this. I actually got this not yesterday, the day before. Um, but let me answer your question real quick. Uh, so instead of no look pass, okay, you're being funny. I got to keep up. Andrew, I got it. It was over my head. Instead of look, look pass, uh, you do a look ship. Yeah, since you don't have the weight or anything. Yeah. Um, as you guys know, I don't recommend this to new sellers. I don't use a scale just because I know how much stuff weighs for the most part. Um, when I was down with Ethan, I was kind of like, I don't use a scale. And he's like, dude, I don't either. Um, he has a scale. But just because I know how much stuff weighs, I've done it for so long. I know what to put it in. But I definitely recommend getting a scale putting in the dimensions, putting in the weight before you list the item if you do calculated shipping. So these are a whole bunch of FootJoy pants. So FootJoy pants, they're not the athletic fit. They just had the FJ right here, um, on right here. But if you look at my sold listings, just about a few weeks ago, I sold a lot of these. I don't know, maybe four for 60 bucks. And so these are all the same size. I'm going to do it again. So I found these all. I'm like, you know what? I can just... Hey, thanks, Arizona. Thanks for the heart meet. All I can do is uh, take these pictures, go back to my uh, other listing, put these new pictures in, change the size, the lot number. This, these are five instead of four, and then price it accordingly. So I'm going to lot these up. I'm not going to sell these different. These FootJoy pants, unless they're athletic fit, they don't do really well. But when I lot them up, it's worth the time. So 20 and a 60, it's worth the time for me. Less time, less pictures. Treasure Nest here. What's up, Treasure Nest? In the house. It's going to echo in here, too. Uh, any suggestions how to clean 100% wool, new with tags, hat to sell? Oh, boy. That's a tough one. So since it's new with tags, I always, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of times that's why stuff gets donated because it's new with tags, but it has a stain on it. So like the place that sells it donates it. Um, you can just try to spot treat it. Otherwise, I would just list it new with tags, other, and then just put, you know, I think the spot will come out. I just don't want to wash it or whatever because it's new with tags. Uh, but I would try to spot treat it. What's up, Shelby? Everyone, thanks for being in here. Also, appreciate you guys. If you are in here or you're watching this later on YouTube or whatever, give it a thumbs up and give it a follow. If you want to know about reselling or just hanging out with a 30, almost eight-year-old dude who talks about clothing, who quit his full-time job to become unemployed. No, I'm not unemployed. Yeah, I'm unemployed, right? These are RLX, RLX pants. Um, I just look, when I look down the aisle, these were obviously with the, well, not obviously, but these were with those FootJoy pants. Um, whenever you find uh, pants together that are uh, 
golf. A lot of times you'll find different brands with them. So I do like finding these RLX. These sell a little bit less than they used to, but they'll go for like 22 plus ship. Again, all of these pants are $5. So people always ask, you know, my spreadsheet and all that stuff. I get all my items. I divide it by how many I get and they end up being 525. So that's, I just per item. Um, just want to thank you for doing these. Uh, if no one has told you today, we appreciate you. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate you too. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy, enjoy doing these. I actually never really thought about doing lives until shout out Kway. Um, and he was like, you need to really do lives in the beginning. And I'm like, you're right, because no one, not a lot of people do lives, interact, real-time questions, stuff like that. You can always ask them, and I'll answer them later. But, yeah. And then they're always live again, like I said, later on on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. And the the, the video I put out on YouTube was not to boast, um, but it's just to show, like, and I put a thing out the other day. Don't compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to yourself. So try to do better than – I'm going to try to do better in February. Well, February is a short month, but the next 90 days than the last 90 days type of deal. So uh, everyone's saying, what's up, Shelby? What's up, Shelby? Uh, same thing with, uh, do you leave wiggle room in your listings for when you send offers? Um, good question. So anytime I, like this right here, this is a great example. This is an L.L. Bean XL Tall. It's funny. I actually have a couple of these. My box came from Florida. You know, I went ship. I went through. It's sitting. My box... The laptop's sitting on the box right now. But um, this is an LL Bean flannel. It has a mini houndstooth check pattern. So it's got a mini houndstooth right here. These sell for me between $18.99 and $22.99 plus shipping. Um, just like Polar Ralph Lauren, $5. Again, depending on the size. So what I'll do with this, your question is, will I make wiggle room? Any of these items that I price at around $18 to $20, I don't accept best offers on those, and I promote them at like 5%. So those will not have best offers. Anything that's a special piece, like maybe this women's, and you guys tell me, I don't know if this would be like a good one not piece, what do you think? But this is one of those women's um, Caradon Dung or whatever it is. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't care. I just know what it looks like. I know it sells. But these wool sweaters with the little... Uh, it's got the button right here somewhere. Yeah, the button. But uh, what I'll do with these, anything that's like a $40 item or $30, I'll do a best offer. But um, as far as wiggle room, I just it just depends how I feel. If it's been on for a long, long time, usually I'm more generous and let it go. Uh, but if I just list it, I, I'm not as generous. I let it get more offers or I, I give them a small counter offer. Uh, just because I listed it. Like when I say list, just listed it within a week or two, that's what I'll do. Um, okay. Hey, uh, I found a Polar Rough Lorn with three guys riding horses. Yep, embroidered on the front. Uh, three on the in the three on the sleeve. Do you know what these are called? Um, I think I have one in my store right now on my eBay store. It hasn't sold yet. Um, I just put big, big pony on those. Um, I don't think they have a special name. They could, the three horsemen. I don't know. Um, but those I tend to don't sell. They don't tend to sell the same as a big pony for me. Um, so Linda says, I like your lives, but really your packing videos shows what is actually selling right now. For sure, Linda. I agree. Um, and yeah, most of my lives have been packing videos. This is, uh, just, so everything I buy now, um, will sell. So doing this long enough, I'm on trend. Everything I'm showing you now, you'll you'll see soon in a packing live video that it sold. So those live videos are always up on Facebook and YouTube of packing. I'll probably do one maybe tonight. Maybe um, I have like 20 something orders to ship out. Um, those are big money on eBay. Yeah, these these right here. Yeah, these are these are good money. And this is green. It's pretty cool. I didn't even look at the size. I just usually when I find these, there's another button. Um, when I find this a medium, when I find these, I just make sure that there's no major moth holes or anything like that. And there usually aren't on these cable knit ones. Uh, just sold that sweater last week for $40 in white. There you go. $40. Yeah. In white. I, I think I have two that I have, I have to list or I've listed. I think I have two that I have to list. 
the three Arizona said, call them the three stooges, the guys uh, on their horses. Um, let me see. I'm almost positive. Oh, maybe I already did. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Next item is a untuck it. This is a nylon elastane. So these always tend to sell a little bit better. Sorry again for the sun over here. Nylon elastic. So these sell for me, especially come summer, but I sold them throughout the winter for around like $24 plus shipping. So they're more stretchy, they're that wiki material. They're a little bit of a better sale. I have a lot of stuff here, guys, so. <clears throat> Good morning, Terry. TikTok and eBay have been great. Thanks, Nifty Thrifty, appreciate it. Hey, pal, hey, a pal. Dusty, I didn't get any Disney yesterday, but I was looking for a lounge fly. We don't, I haven't found any lounge fly around here. Not even behind the counter anywhere. So they must know their game on lounge fly. I don't know. Always looking for spirit jerseys and lounge fly. And I have two go-tos, Dusty and Shelby and Casey. Three, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. You found a lounge fly? You lucky duck. Uh, do I sell Linksol? Yes. I just put one on, Tams. Um, but actually, I bought a ton of brand new tags Linksol off of a whatnot. Should I be a gatekeep? I'll, I won't gatekeep on this one because they're gone. But they got a huge truckload in, and they were just selling the same thing after another. I got so, I got so much link sold, brand new with tags, and they were ended up being like two to three dollars a piece, shorts and shirts. Um, it was from Daily Refinement, uh, one or two, one of the they have two channels, and I think one, and um, definitely one, and yeah. So I do buy, I do buy link sold, but be careful; it's not the best. If it's used, I usually don't pick up used polo shirts, link so polo shirts. They're five dollars. Like I said, everything's five dollars where I live. The shirts. I'll talk about this one real quick. This is a master's collection. So master's collection, definitely. I love master's collection, especially these quarter zips. These do great. If they're green, they do really well. But um, or if they're like a Peter Millar um, collab or whatever, they do well. But watch me. I'm gonna list this in March. I'm going to list this in March. This is going to go like on my top of my stack for in a month. And I'll list this in March and it will sell like that because the Masters are at the end of March. They're at the first week of April. So again, like NFL, I pay attention to seasons. And since I have so much inventory, I put certain stuff in certain places. The Masters is the first week of April. I list it in March. Sell it in March. Bearded Thrifter just bought two lounge fly. That's a new bolo for me. Yeah, forget that dude. He's a punk. Always stealing my lounge fly when I see him. We went to Kentucky. He found a lounge fly. He's got a freaking eagle eye, though. So um, I love the room rather than the basement. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I have, like I said, I, you're, I, I have a new laptop. So I bought a new laptop, and so I can take us anywhere, anywhere we want to go that there's internet. Um, Thrifter from... Aussie here, really half cast. How is it thrifting in Aussie? I listen to some people on a podcast over there. It's a little bit different. I also listen to people in um, the UK, and it's different. They, they say their thrift stores are small, but they have a lot of flea markets. So they call them like trunk shows. I found Polo Ralph Lauren fringe Aztec denim trucker jacket. Dude, Suka, that's going to be a killer. Thanks for the heart, me. Uh, that's going to be a killer. Ralph Lauren, anything unique like that, you guys know is like right up my alley. And thanks for the uh, fire. You guys don't need to give me anything. Um, Dusty, I'm jealous. Anytime I find Linksol with comps look terrible. Yeah, again, Linksol new with tags I pick up. The pants also sell. I actually think I sold yesterday a uh, Linksol new with tags. Let me look. Um, pretty sure I did. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, new with tags, link soul. So this is how much it go for. Hi, Eden. So new with tags, link soul sold for $29, $32.99. for new with tags, link soul. So I sold those yesterday. So if that tells you how much the pants go for, if they're used, my guess is 15. So I only buy link soul new with tags. Uh, that's who got, I got mine to, Tams. We're not gatekeeping, right? Because uh, they're done with Linksol. 
Um, but you can source off whatnot. Have I shipped to Australia? I think so. Nowadays, with the global shipping program, you have no idea where you ship. But back in the day, you did know where you ship. You shipped it to those places like yourself. You wrote down and everything. So I, I'm, I guarantee I have. Um, I love the launch flies almost as much as my pins. What do you like better, launch flies or pins? Launch flies could go out of style. Pins last, those pins are forever. Good morning, Frenchies. Um, found a Ralph Lauren RLX uh, Reco Ski Jacket at the bins. Excellent condition. Arizona, send me a freaking picture of that. Arizona always finds good stuff. You should have bought that Tweety Bird blanket. Treasure, you think I should have? I didn't. I looked up comps for like 25 bucks for that exact blanket. He was over in the toys like he always is. And I found that blanket. And I asked one of the people there to take a picture of me so I could make fun of him and post. And then I showed it to him. And, of course, he's like, I, I'll, I want that. Take a picture of me. He got a picture. He posted it. And someone in his post said, I want that. I'll buy it from you. I'm like, freaking, what the heck? All right. Here's a brand, again, I tell you I don't buy very often anymore. But the reason I bought it is because it's a 3XL. So it's a 3XL, and it is an Under Armour. So I'm staying away from Under Armour polos for the most part because they don't sell for me. They sell for like $14, $13 now. That doesn't hit my metrics anymore. So, But 3XLs will sell for around $20. So I'll pick these up. So like if you go to Dick Sports, I don't think they have 3XL at the store. You have to order them special. Boot sales. Um, Have more money in pens for sure. Dusty, I'm sure you have like freaking your savings, your life savings, your 401ks and Disney pens. Yeah, uh, I would notice the other day about whatnot, like super cheap. I was like, what is happening? I know. Some stuff just goes super cheap. I don't know. Whatnot's a strange beast. I'm, I think we're all kind of new to it still. How much you list that master shirt for? I'll have to look up comps. It's like a cotton blend. If it were all polyester, probably 40 bucks or so. If it's just cotton, probably like 32 plus ship. Also, what about eBay shoe verification? Yeah, eBay shoe verification is super easy. Um, usually it does it with like Nikes and stuff like that. You list your item. Um, you'll ship it into eBay's ver verification system or center, wherever, through FedEx. And then they verify it and send it to the buyer. That's it. Um, if it's if they're not authentic, they get sent back to you. Uh, I haven't had that case. So, um, again, found a North Face. Really nice women's jacket. This is a size small. But a North Face women's jacket, really good condition. Um, and, again, I can't leave that behind. So, I'll put that and whatnot for the women's shows. So, super nice. It's really not heavy. Heavyweight, but it's a nice woman jacket, no pilling or anything. So that'll be like a whatnot item, too. That Masters, I'm curious now. Is it a, uh, I told you it's going to be long, so you guys can just like watch this later. It's 100% cotton. So that'll be like $30 item. Good morning, everybody. Dizzy K, yellow, baby. I know. Desty, you have T minus like 10 days now, right? Nine days till you go to Dizzy? Uh, yes, comes for only 25 for the Tweety, and it could sit. Uh, there was another for sale. I know, Jacqueline, that, that, that's why I put it down. Um, and I would buy blankets because those ship like clothing, really easy to ship those out. I'm not set up for hard goods. Um, so, yeah, I just didn't buy it. This was a good buy. This was our very last Goodwill at the end of the night. Stop number 17, Goodwill number 17, which we've never hit 17 before. And I'm glad we did. This is a good pickup. You guys need to be on the lookout for this brand. It's not like a smoking brand, but if you can find certain pieces like this, it's really good. Uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone on YouTube. Sorry, I, I missed some of your stuff. Um, for jackets and clothing that weigh over a pound, do you weigh each individual? Uh, what shipping method would be best for, um, for it? So I do two things. I know about the weight, and I, and I put a little bit extra – so if I think something's like a three pound item, I always do four pounds and I have, I know what size boxes I use. So like this jacket right here, this would be like a 12 by 12 by 12 box. So this would be a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And this would be like a, I'd put five pounds on this just because I know it probably weighs like three and a half pounds or something like that. 
So I put five pounds um, in a box, and now I'm going to ship that ground because ground has been super cheap. Um, but if it's something like this, this jacket right here, I can pack this a little tighter, and I'd probably put this in a shoebox priority mail, um, 17 by like eight by six, and ship that out. And that would be like two pounds. So that's what I do with the uh, jackets. But again, if you're new, put it in whatever box or bag you want, measure it, weigh it, put on all the dimensions, do do uh, do calculated shipping, I'd recommend. But back to the jacket, I've never found a jacket in this brand. You guys can let me know if you buy stuff in this brand, but it sells for me. It's called Wallace and Barnes. So Wallace and Barnes, I don't know if you've ever seen that brand before. Wallace and Barnes. Um, I think they make clothes for J. Crew as well, but usually I find flannels and sweaters in this brand. But this is a really substantial jacket. And when I was looking up comps, ones like these were over a hundred bucks. So this one was $14.99, and I was just fine paying up for it. I know you can't see it over there or over here. So $14.99. I paid up a little bit for that. They're starting to price some stuff. You can see they write on some things. So they probably knew what they had a little bit there, but yeah. Yes. Uh, 11, I think. Why is there slow trucks out there? Um, ba, 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 ba. Do I ever go to the bins? I haven't for a long time. We went in Florida, but since then, probably like two months. But I would, I like the bins, to be honest. I do. But I just am not guaranteed there. Like doing a full day thrift, I know I'm going to get a ton of stuff like this. If I go to the bins for a full day, I don't know. I don't want to have that anxiety of like, am I going to be able to get product? So if, like I always say, if I had plenty of stuff and plenty of time on my hands, I would love to go to the bins for fun and see what I can find and stuff like that. Um, what are you doing for your birthday next week? Tim, I don't celebrate my birthday. I don't like it because I don't like getting older. You know, when you're young, you like celebrating your birthday. And I know you guys are going to be like, you're young, but I honestly, like ever... Like, I don't like to sell, I don't like celebrating my birthday. We'll go out to dinner with the fam. I don't want anything from Shelby. We're going on a cruise the next month. Actually, you know what I did ask for Shelby? Is she still in here? I said, um, Bearded wants to do a two day thrift Chicago and Milwaukee. And I said, So for my birthday, I want to go uh, do sh Milwaukee Chicago thrift. So <laughs> that means she has the kids and does all the stuff for two days. So, sirs. I'm working, uh, but hi, what's up, Shauna? Husky Mama. Um, did you see, Husky Mama, did you see that dog toy yesterday, that huge um, eggplant that I posted? I tagged K-Way with it. Thanks so much. You basically, uh, so you basically are only going ground advantage right now, regardless of item. Shoes, a lot of shoes I still put in those priority boxes. So a lot of shoes I still put in those priority boxes. And you'll find if you have an expensive item like this jacket, if someone's buying this jacket for $120, they really don't care how much shipping is. If it's $10 or $14, you typically don't have people saying, can I get cheaper shipping? It's like when it's a $25 item, you might get that question. Um, but anyways, I feel the same. I feel the same too. Uh, I just don't like celebrating it. So I'll be 38. So I'll be 38. You are young. I know. I found a J. Crew Wallace Barn Chinos and flipped it at about... Uh, for about 25 plus ship. Yeah. So that's about how much this sweater sell for too, about 30 bucks. I think I have one. If you go to my sold listings, I have a Wallace and Barnes that sold not too long ago. I'm in Milwaukee. How's Milwaukee? FBA. Uh, Bearded went up there not too long ago. He said the thrifting's pretty good. We were going to do Chicago, then stay the night, like in between Milwaukee and Chicago. If you guys don't know, they're actually really close. Um, and then go to Milwaukee. Uh, are they called priority shoe boxes or is there another name for them? I actually, Erica, think they're called priority shoe boxes. Maybe someone in the chat will know, um, but I think they're called priority shoe boxes. This one, you guys know, you'll find something, you'll see comps. Have you ever been out, you see the comps and you're like, wow, like look how much they're asking for those. Used, uh, this, used just like this, $125, $60, $80, $100. And then you go to solds and they're none sold. And then you go to the website because it's like a newer brand and they're really expensive. So none have sold, but they're asking a lot on Poshmark and eBay. It was $10 and I'll show you the brand. So I'm like, you know what? I'll take a $10. Again, I always compare it to like a scratch off ticket. I'll take that gamble. It's called Borrow. 
So it's called Borrow. It's a rain jacket. So sorry, it's really hard to see like this, but it's a rain jacket. And it has all these like little banana looking things in the inside. And they're all like known for having the zipper, but that's what it's called. It's called Borrow. I've never heard of the brand. So what's up, TLK? Thanks for coming over. Appreciate you coming in. It's been a minute since I've seen you too. It's turning, uh, I'm turning 38 in April. Dusty, are you 04? That's how we say it. You 04 girl? Where'd you go to high school, by the way? Um, when is your birthday? February 17th. And Eden's is February 19th. So that's what we celebrate, Eden's birthday. That's more important. Uh, what's your favorite antique that you ever found? Oh my gosh, Dustin, I can't even... I, I don't know. That's a really good question. Um, I've sold some really good ones along the way, but I don't know. Um, there's, I don't know. Maybe there's a painting up there that I really enjoy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So many, so many. I like them all. Uh, I know that's not a good question. One day I'll do like a, we'd come up here and just do like a live walkthrough. Um, I'm in April too, the 24th. Positive, positively divorced. Are you going to be 24? You're going to be 24? The 24th of April. Um, Felix, what are you doing? I was 05. Taught me out. 30. Oh, I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're a baby. You and Shelby, you and my wife were 05. Shelby dated up. She dated up. Taurus gang. Taurus gang. I think, I don't even know what I am. I don't know any of that stuff. All right, so again, Peter Millar, just like the other quarter zip, but let me tell you a little bit about this one. Um, the reason I picked it up, and it has a little stain on the bottom. I'm okay with it. This is the BMW Championship. So here in Indy, at this golf course right here, always tell people, just if you're bored or whatever one day, take a screenshot. Go into Google on your phone. Look up PGA Golf Course logos. Click on the Google image, and it'll show like, 20 or 50 golf course logos. Take a picture of that. So when you're out and about, you'll know what to look for. Crooked Stick is a PGA golf course. Um, and they have major, like Tiger Woods play there. So this is in Carmel where I live. And they have the B&W Championship there. They've had it a couple times. So whenever I find these, I buy them because they sell quick. This one's a quarter zip. This one's a stretchy. These always sell for like close to $40 for me. Oh, shut it. Positively divorced, 24. Hey, I'm just asking. My son is the 16th and I'm going to, and I'm on the 25th. So I get celebrating them. Yes. So we celebrate our kids. We don't celebrate us. When do you stop listing jackets? Suka, I'm going to list these jackets right now. These, I don't have any other heavy jackets. I'll probably list these today and I'm, I'm going to be done. So pretty much President's Day weekend, like my birthday weekend, um, I'm going to be done listing winter and probably start listing spring. I don't have a ton of spring and I typically get through spring pretty quickly because like polos and shorts just take less time to measure and everything. Uh, and then I can get, I still have jeans and some long sleeve shirts and stuff like that left. I'm going to show you a bolo right here real quick. Uh, let's see. Your wife showed up on people I may know on Facebook. Uh, a lot of mutual friends. Um, Pastor, where are, you, where are you from? Where are you from? She's not great course. Yes, I, I've never played it. Patriot Girl, have you played it? Um, cricket stick? It's private. I can't you can't get in that here unless you know somebody. You gotta know somebody that knows somebody. This brand right here, it's just a sweatshirt, but the brand is called Raining Champ. They do pretty well. I'm pretty sure um it's a bolo. So I did look up comps because I have two that I just listed, actually. So and they do pretty good. So raining champ. Hopefully a new brand to you. The whole point of being here, you don't want to look at me. Again, $4.99 for that. So, uh, good morning, Christine. Thanks for joining in and popping in. Feel free to, to pop out, come back, watch later, and stay in, whatever you want to do. Uh, here, I went to LC. Uh, my husband went to Hamill Southeastern. That's why. Uh, I went to North Central. You went to Lawrence Central, and she went to Hamilton Southeastern. So, uh, that's probably why. That's probably why. Uh, for your summer clothes, can you list per day? How many more can you list per day? Yeah. So, Patriot Girl, I can, I'll be able to list. I can list a lot more per day. So, the reason being is if I have – I still pick up Nike polos or whatever. Like, I have so many Nike polos in my store that I sold 
that I can take those pictures, flat lay, boom, 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 take pictures. Those are those two minute listings. I can list like 25 easy and still have time to do everything else. So yeah, summer's usually, I can list quicker than the winter. Winter, the thing about winter is I find these sweaters. I have to take all the measurements for it. Then I have to go on eBay and try to find one just like it. That takes like five minutes. And then I have to sell similar and change all the item specifics. And it takes longer. With, with summer stuff like this, um, this is a Vineyard Vines Performance. I pick these up and I sell these for around $22, $23. I have a ton of these. I just click sell similar, change the size. I do them all multicolored. I don't even put blue and green. I just put multicolored and I change the size and change the pictures. So it's much quicker for me. Yep. To answer that question. I played that one. Uh, I haven't played that one yet. Yes. Well, come up and play it. Come say hi. 56. Positive girl. I didn't, you didn't have to tell me your age. Um, Vintage stuff. Oh, this room, vintage stuff. I can show you some stuff along the way as we talk. Angie, what's up? I think I'm going to just take your 79.99 course and learn so much. Desti. You're the six-figure reseller. Everyone follow Desti. She's a, she's a six-figure reseller on eBay. So she doesn't, she doesn't link her store, though, so you don't know for sure. Just kidding. No, I don't have a course. This is my course. It's free. You can watch it how, whenever you want on YouTube. It's free or on TikTok, whatever. $4.99. Um, obviously, we knew what that was when I saw it. So a small. Um, I've never. You guys know I wear Lulu. Again, sorry for the sun. You know I wear Lulu. But I've never seen one with this pattern. So I've never seen this pattern before. Whatever. I don't care. It was $5. This will probably sell for like 32 plus ship. Again, that would have been like a $50 item maybe five years ago, but they've been making millions of pieces of Lulu clothing a year, I'm sure. And it's just been washed up a little bit. So still a really good brand, but they don't sell as much. Desty. Similar seller is uh, goaded. Similar seller is goaded. What is that? I don't know what that means. I'm old. Uh, what is your 90 day total right now? Felix, I don't talk about those things because I like to lie about my numbers and then people will really find out what I do and they'll call me out on it. Um, one night order say, love the pants. Angie, thanks. I appreciate it. I, I feel that, like I want to blush when people talk about whatnot. It, that's a re I told, I always say like, that's a big reason why I didn't want to do whatnot. I just, you know, I want to sell to like people who don't know me like on eBay. Um, but if you guys find something you like and you want to wear them, good. So I know um, uh, you guys know Central Illinois Leslie. She's a huge Polo Ralph Lauren fan, and she sent me a picture with her Polo Ralph Lauren sweater on. She's like giggly about it. So I was happy. North Face Men's. This is a quarter zip. So what I'm actually going to do, you guys are going to be mad at me, but um, this is men's. I'm going to probably put this away for next fall um, because, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to probably put it away for next fall. I know it sounds crazy, but go to Macy's, go to all those places. Uh, I'm going to start listing spring stuff like ASAP. So maybe I'll list that now, this stuff, but that's going to be a fall piece probably. Found a bolo yesterday at Goodwill. A Pokemon Snorlax onesie. Paid $7.99. They sell for $60 to $100. Oh, my gosh. The brand is S-A-Z-A-C. I've never heard of it. Found in the PJs. Pokemon is... Surfing with Bearded is such an eye-opener because he has, like I said, eagle eyes, and his Pokemon game is on point. On point. Got my – um. I don't talk about those things. Uh, they're a lie. Fine. I'll show you. Um, have you sold all your double RL jeans yet? I think I have one or two pairs left. I sold a black pair over the weekend or while I was gone or something. I think I have one or two pairs left, but the good thing is – I've been in contact with that guy and I'm making connections. Um, he wants me to sell some other like hard goods stuff that he might have. And he said um, he's been telling his friends and he's very well off guy and very well off community, which is great. You want to you want to infiltrate those communities, give them the right prices, make them happy. Um, and they like to see the entrepreneurship too. He's an entrepreneur. He loves to see this entrepreneur because it's new to him who buys clothing, use and sell it, sells it. Um, so he's, 
passing my name around. So that might lead to more. So yay, hopefully more double RL. Um, I picked up 18 pieces of Swarovski, 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 Crystal um, for 135. Is that a good deal? It all depends. They make so much of that now. Um, they make Disney themed. Desi knows probably. They make all sorts of themed um, Swarovski, Swarovski. Are they earrings or necklaces? What are they? But for $135 for that many, I think you did well. So that's like, how many did you say again? It was 18 for 135 so like $10 a piece or less. I think you did fine with that. Um, what's up, Grammy? I sugar. Uh, they called Kigaru outfits. Okay. I've never heard of the, the, the Pokemon. Um, how well does Avalanche pull over? Do you, do you, or Trek wear coats? Um, how well does Avalanche pull over? Um, I'm guessing Avalanche to brand sell. It does. I don't buy that brand. Um, it doesn't sell really well for me. Um, so I don't buy that brand. Uh, I sourced yesterday at one of my favorites. Found two men's denim overalls, bolos, and sell for 25 or more easily. And some um, resell. Uh, what what brand were they? Looked up comps and um, on the go, on the go, Joe, on the go, and grabbed them both. A cart full of senior day got me my 20% off save $39. <laughs> Grammy, when it's senior day, I'm coming down and going with you. They got rid of that here, and I always would want to take my dad places. Um, but that's awesome. Yeah, overalls. I actually just sold a pair of overalls today. What do you call them? They're called overalls with shorts. Um, they're lit, denim. They were retail arbitrage. I just sold them a little bit ago. These right here, I don't know what you call them. Um, but I just sold these right here today. So they're like overalls, denim shorts. They're really goofy, but I got them for like 10 bucks at Burlington. Missed you. What's up, Kings? Kings, I was telling Bearded how you're going to go to Banana Republic and get a whole new wardrobe. I think that's cool. Uh, where do you sell? I want to look for my son. Um, don't buy stuff from me. Um, if you see anything, just DM me. But I sell on eBay. I If you're new here, I more or less just kind of educate people on how to make extra money, educate brands. Also, a lot of the community, we're all friends. We talk. A lot of good people in here um so i never never on here to try to sell to people um but this is an issue but i bought it anyways i'll tell you why before i get some more questions so this is a gold button blazer you guys know i love my gold button blazers sorry again for the sun but i'm letting the sun shine in you can sing it gold button blazer it's missing a gold button but you can buy these buttons off ebay this is i'll tell you why i bought it Number one is because it's Laurel Piani. So it's a Laurel Piani gold button blazer, Laurel Piani. I knew right away what it was when I saw the green because I sold this before plenty of times. So this is a Brooks Brothers Country Club. So Brooks Brothers Country Club gold button blazer. These do better than regular Brooks Brothers gold button blazer. So if if this didn't, if it wasn't missing a button, it would probably sell for $75 maybe 80 or something around there. Um, but since it has a missing button, I don't like projects. So I probably won't. It cost me $5 to get a button sewed on because I don't do it myself, but I'd have to buy a button and all that stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I might just sell it as it is for 40. I paid $7.99. So our blazers are all $7.99, but look for Brooks Brothers gold button blazers. They sell really well. Brooks Brothers gold button blazers. This one's a little bit nicer because it's Laurel Piani blend and it's also a um, country club. Um, short tails. Uh, come on, sugar. I know I'm gonna come down there. Liberty and key overalls. Gotcha. If you can, Liberty and key. Also, guys, if you can find the hickory stick overalls, those do really well. It's the blue and white striped. They're up and down vertical stripes. Um, Wednesdays at my favorite spot are seniors. A PME schedule, and I'll tell you the other days for sure. Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Elizabethtown. I remember. When I was young, not I mean, this is not a good thing. I remember there's a really bad tornado that went through Elizabethtown, Kentucky when I was younger. Um, so, yeah, anyway, this is not a good thing. I should stop selling long sleeves and start selling short sleeves. No, Carrie, sell whatever you want. So you do you, um, sell whatever you want. I'm just telling you what I do with my model because um, I have so much inventory. So like this right here, 
I'll probably list this right now because I just sold a couple like it. But this is a Harris Tweed Blazer. I bought it uh, same place with that um, Brooks Brother Blazer. This one was actually $9.99. I didn't even notice that. Usually they're $7.99 where I am, but I don't care because I flipped these into anywhere from $39 to $50. And the last one I sold, I think, was $50. The last two. This one's Stafford. So if you can find a brand, even though Stafford's not a great brand, there it goes, and you want to look for that, Harris Tweed. You find Harris Tweed in a blazer, and there are no moth holes. They'll have leather buttons like that. You want to look out for the leather buttons. Um, that's good. So this will be 10 into probably around $40 or $50. Definitely around $40 or $50. Um, I don't need to like probably tell you. You can just look at my sold comps. I sold two of them in the last month. Side note, I'm getting a husky puppy tomorrow. Flipping nurse, that is awesome. Did you tell did you tell Shauna that? She probably going, she probably is like all about it. Um, short tails. Angie, what do you what do you mean short tails? What 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 did I pull up that was short tails? That was I talking about something? I don't even remember. You know me. I saw a squirrel, something like that. Uh should, so as far as listing things, you do you. I like listing seasonal. So people are gonna now for the most of the country, even I was in Tampa, Florida, and it was chilly when I was there. I was wearing a sweatshirt the whole time. It's cold everywhere. People have been buying cold clothing, but here soon, you know, everyone's going to be buying warm or uh, warm weather clothing. So look at the big boys. Go to any store, Dick's, Sporting Goods, Macy's. I say it all the time. They sell winter clothing during the winter and summer clothing during the summer. That's not to say they won't sell. I keep it all in my store still, but I'm going to be listing that stuff. That's that's how I've ran my business over the past four years. If you can't source that much stuff, just list whatever you have. Never let something sit and you don't have anything to list. If you have stuff to list and you have stuff sitting, even if it's off season, I would recommend listing it. Love your channel. Go live more. Uh, come on to my lives. Open invitation. Thanks, Kings. I know. I love coming on. Look, all my antiques collectibles from uh, your from estate sales. Estate sale life. Uh, I just cannot bring myself to go through the Blazers. I know, Desi. They suck to list, too. You have to take all the measurements, but they hit so good. $7.99 for that Blazer, that other Blazer, into $80, $4.99 into $50, or $9.99 into $50, and I have sold similar, so it'll be really easy for me to list. <sighs> I can't pass that up. That's that's like thirty or forty dollars. When it's that thirty or forty dollar profit, it's five minutes worth of time. Thirty or forty dollars in five minutes, coming from a teacher world, that's a lot of money. Surf, do you need um you need to make a video? You need to make a visit to the Goodwill bins in Cincinnati or uh, the Superstore in Springfield. The new carts are endless. Oh my gosh, I would. And actually here in Indy, we have new carts, but Ohio does have good thrift stores. And when we did our route from Indianapolis, we went down through Cincinnati, down to Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky, and thrifted down there. And that was a really good thrift route. I'd be willing to do that again. Uh, what cross lister app do you suggest? So Janelle, I don't, I only sell on eBay. Um, I plan to sell on Poshmark probably this year. If auto posture, when auto posture comes out with a cross lister. So right now I have auto posture. Um, and if it comes out with a cross lister, I'll buy that. But if not, Vindu or list perfectly are what most people use. There's another free one, but the people I follow, um, and hang out with use Vindu or list perfectly. So short alls overalls that are shorts. Is that what they're called? Angie? I don't know. I listed them as Levi's denim, overall shorts, light wash, Hammer Loop Retro 90s Y2K. Just put Y2K in everything and it will sell these days. Just put Y2K in everything. My sales have been bad over the last two days. Is this happening to everyone else? Um, I don't know. I, it just goes in waves. People message me all the time like, what am I doing wrong? Whatever. It just goes in waves. Like my sales have been really good. When I was in Florida last week, my sales weren't great. So it just goes in waves. Did I work on your walls? Show us some of it. Grammy, um, I will at some point. You can see that one right there. That's by TC Steel. So if you look up the artist TC Steel, S T E E L E, that's by TC Steel. That one. TC Steel. And that's in the House of the Singing Winds. It's an Indian artist. 
Um, I'm so scared to go to the bins. Don't be scared. Bring your gloves. Bring some elbow pads just in case you need to do this to somebody. So, yes, I sold two Halloween costumes and Halloween uh, blanket this month. There you go, Halloween. Yeah, so, again, year-round, especially holiday stuff. Halloween, Christmas, that stuff sells year-round um, for sure. I, it's like, especially on eBay, that stuff sells year-round. Halloween vintage stuff and Christmas vintage stuff are definitely pickups. And you're welcome. You're welcome. Okie okay, doke. No, I'll do it, Desty. Pittsburgh is, is fantastic. Two red wine blues and lots of thrifts. Ooh, Desty, that's a bit a bit away. That's a bit away. Are you still on here, um, Felix? Are you still on here? I will show you my night. I will show you my ninety day. I just posted it the other day. I put Aztec in my listing too. Yes, put Aztec, put Southwest, put Vintage, put Y two K. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay, I need to probably start talking about what I got, right? So this is a vintage. I picked this up because it's super cool, I thought. Um, it says San Diego Beach Club, like 1985? 1985, San Diego Beach Club. And this sweatshirt is super lightweight. It's super lightweight. San Diego Beach Club. Um, pretty cool. And it's on a Hanes tad that looks like this. So maybe I'm off on the year. I don't know. It's hard to read the date on these old shirts. But it's a made in the USA hang to his $4.99. I just think that thing's pretty sweet. I might trade that with my vintage dude. I don't know. I don't know how much those go for. I'm not real versed in that stuff. Autoposture already cross posting. Let me check. Um, uh, it might. I don't think it does yet. Um blah, 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 blah. Out of a few sales this week, I think um, I'm at four. Yeah, and it all depends how many things you have listed, right? So I, I want to do a video on this one, but I'll show you guys. This thing is cool. This is right up my alley. So I can't believe this was sitting on a shelf. So this is a vintage bomber jacket. So this was military-issued military issue flight jacket. Like Not as in like a bomber. This is like an Air Force aviation jacket. Because back in the day, they didn't have air conditioning and all that stuff or heating and all that. So very, very heavy Sherpa. And this is like different feeling than what you normally feel on like a Levi's or whatever. This is like legit big zipper. The hood goes all the way back. Um, the zipper on this thing is massive. Um, that's just really cool. I love these. I love finding these. So again, it is... Um, Jacket, flying man's heavy. So that's what it is. Love finding these. I paid up for this one, though. I think I paid, I don't know where the tag is. I, there it is. $14.99. Paid up $14.99. So whatever. Great jacket. I love that jacket. Uh, oh, yesterday I found two, uh, two Jimmy. Yep, Jimmy. Look for the brand Jimmy. Two Jimmy plushes that have... Uh, a battery box so they do something bought them for three dollars without looking them up yep perfect jimmy does well bearded that's bearded's like secret weapon jimmy that's his favorite uh four hours Desti is four hours from you probably from to the north i don't know how far pittsburgh is from me i don't know i do it though i'm all about thrifting trips auto posture does not cross post yet yeah they don't cross post yet oh I've been waiting for that auto posture update. Haven't heard anything. I haven't either. I know it's going to be later this spring or summer, so don't look for it anytime soon. What do you call uh, what do you call the style that is in trend right now? They were Carhartt, thrifted tees, sweaters. What do you call the style? Um, oversized, um, vintage, baggy, skater, Y two K. Those are all really good keywords to use right now. If it truly is like this. Um, this is that liquid blue. I posted a picture on my Instagram and Facebook. It's a liquid blue Jimi Hendrix. And I was totally doing it on the go when I spelled Jimi Hendrix wrong, but whatever. But it's on one of these gray tags. And I guess the gray tags are like pre-2009, which is good. It's not, it's not, um, the tag is not screen printed on the shirt. So Jimi Hendrix tie-dye shirt. Liquid blue. Liquid blue is definitely a brand you want to look out. Obviously, 
I don't even have to tell you this was on a new cart that just rolled out because this stuff sticks out like a sore thumb and the vintage t-shirt boys would be on that that quick. So I got lucky with that one. Um, would you be open to doing a quick store review? I'd pay a course. Um, thousands and slow sales. Steph, uh, Steven, I actually don't do paid courses. And I could. Desi's in here and she knows. We talk about it. Um, and Wayne and I have talked about it many times on phone calls. Just We're all about giving free information. I'll talk to Wayne again. He's really busy with his whatnot stuff, trying to do 130 and 30 days. But um, we might go back to doing like um, – on Facebook and YouTube, we used to do uh, store reviews. So I'll talk to him. We might do some store reviews. And um, those were always good. So they were like, we would critique. Sometimes the stores would be like better than mine for sure. Sometimes they would need help. So they're pretty good watches. We have, they're actually still saved way back on our U on YouTube and Facebook. So if you want to watch them. But if we do that again, we'll let you know. And then you can uh, shout out your name and we'll look at your store. I think... Uh, Wayne said March for auto posture crosslister. Yes. So I'm supposed to be in the beta program, but we'll see how that works. I don't know. Just let me know what stores you go in Pittsburgh. So I won't waste my time thrifting thereafter. I will always leave stuff behind. Yesterday I went through all the section and I missed a pair of uh, rock revival jeans. Um, you would think I would have found those. I think the lady just put them up, but beard got them. Beard got them. Um, I'm not a big, like, hat guy, thrifting hat guy. I picked up – I don't know where the other one is, but I picked up this McLaren Formula One hat. So here in Indy, we have a McLaren um, – this is Formula One. We don't have Formula One here in Indy anymore, but uh, this is a McLaren hat, Formula One. It was $0.99. Cents. This will probably flip into around, like, $18, $15 to $20. So McLaren is a good brand to be on the lookout for. You probably won't see it very often. And then I got this corduroy Patagonia hat. Again, it was only a dollar, so only 99 cents. It's got your little Patagonia hit there. Um, again, weighs nothing to ship. I think I can get $15 out of that. So, yes, I love watching you guys. I know, I know. You should see us in, in person. Or, I mean, if you guys are a fly on the wall with us in person, it's fun. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. So, yeah, I'll let you know. I'm like, no, March. I don't want to wait. Um, then I relisted until next month. Uh, I'm like, oh, no, March. I don't want to. And then I relisted. I realized it was next month. Yeah, that happens really quick. Okay, pay attention, guys. Classroom, pay attention. Really good stuff right here. Belt section. This all came from the same store. Um, they rolled out a couple new carts. And this is a belt, which I don't, you never hear me talk about belts. But it's an Allen Edmonds belt. So Italian calf skin. Allen Edmond belt. So you all know Allen Edmonds shoes, leather, the belt. I never sold one. I looked up comps. This is black, really good condition. No scratches on that or anything like that. And I think the comps are around $40. So that's what I got. Love the Patagonia hat. Yeah, I think it's neat. I think it's neat. Um so it was a dollar. They rolled out a cart with hats. I looked at them. They were good. Okay, here we go. So really good stuff on this cart that they just rolled out. Hey, thanks, Tropical Flipper. This brand right here. Look up that brand. Really good comps. I'll show you guys in a second. Really good brand to look at comps. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but made in Italy. I could just tell. Whenever you see the stitching on the corners, whenever you see the little stitching on corners like that, a lot of times it's a really good brand. Put your finger through it. Um, it's a really good brand. Looked up comps, super good. Five dollars. I just saw the comps were like saw hundreds. I saw eighties. I did get in my cart. I don't. Need, I don't need to look at you anymore. So that's how I did. Uh, what does Auto Posture do now? So if you have Poshmark, so when I when I get Poshmark, it will it will share my store and all that sort and send out offers. For me, what Auto Posture does is. Send out offers to anyone interested in my items, and it delists and relists my items. So it will delist it and relist it and give it a brand new item ID, which boosts your store and boosts your item. Instead of like, this item didn't sell to eBay's algos, we'll just keep putting it down in the algorithms. So when people look for Patagonia hats, it's not going to be up top. But if they see you delist and relist, they think, oh, that guy relisted a new item. We're going to push it out 
and see how it looks. So that's what it does. It's really good. I have a link in my bio. If you're interested in it, you get a little discount. Um, I have a belt, Arnold Palmer new. I've never sold, uh, I've never, I don't sell many belts. Retail arm, guys. I paid up for this one, in my opinion. I don't care. It's so cool. So someone already messaged me and was like, hey, I think I want that because I posted on Instagram yesterday. Look at this Polo Ralph Lauren. You guys know I love Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, if it were my size, I might keep it. It's a medium. I wear a large. But this, these are actually all – the. this is all stitched. So actually the lines aren't stitched, but like the flag, the, the blue part and the red part are stitched. So Polo Ralph Lauren, um, it was $40 is what I paid. MSRP is 100, 189 or 198. I think I can get probably 80 out of this, especially like this is a perfect 4th of July and it has the hit on it. So I just think this will be able to get around $80. I paid 40. Worst case scenario, worst case, I sell it for $40. I couldn't pass it up. I didn't see any like it. Uh, my videos, uh, any videos on how to set up auto posture? Super easy. Um, it's not an app. You'll just go to auto posture. Um, on my phone, you just go to my tab in Safari, auto posture. And um, you can just go to your dashboard and you'll have all your stuff on there. Um, and you can decide how you want to set it all up. So it's super easy. Um, someone in the chat, if someone has a video on, I think Wayne's made a video. I think some people have made video. You can put it down there. Um, sweet shirt. Thanks, Grammy. Um, sir, so I've been looking into flipping ties. Do you think uh, the market's good? People thrifting ties are extremely heavy in quantity due to... Uh, yeah, um, I do pick up ties. So that cart that they rolled out with those hats and the... Um, the belts, they had ties on it too. I look at ties. Um, I like picking up any of the really high-end brand um, ties. So like Canali, Brioni, um, Zegna. I'll pick up Brooks Brothers ties. They're all $1.99 where I live, and I'll sell those in lots, like lots of six, um, because I get about $10 per tie, and it makes it – I don't have to take as many pictures and spend as much time listing, so I lot the ties up. If they're Brooks Brothers silk ties, so if you can get them cheap enough, your buy cost is cheap enough. You can uh, you can do that. So uh, my husband has that same shirt. Does he really? I bet he looks good in there. What's up, Craig? Let's keep going over some of the stuff. Um, let's go over more from that place again. These were all on the same rack, so I knew they were good. This is called 100% Capri, made in Italy, and it's linen. 100% Capri. I don't know if you guys can see it. 100% Capri made in Italy, and it's like a half half button, like really like manly, like show your chest here, Austin Power sexy type of shirt. And I looked up 100% Capri, and the sale the, the sales were crazy on those too. So, and then right next to it were these Fendeli Fendeli. I don't know, made in Italy sweaters. I think they're all cashmere, and there were they're all 4.99. One, two, three of those. So $4.99. Again, I've never found this brand. I'll show it to you again. They were all dry cleaned. Um, I actually took one of the dry clean tags off of one of them because I might have taken a little video of it. But I'll show you the brand again if you want to look. Again, I've never found it. But you know quality when you, when you see it. Again, they are just stitched on. The tags are just, just barely tacked on the top. Just barely tacked on the top. Very, very does that on some things too. Um, just bottle posture, D-list, relist on all your platforms. I just sell on eBay. So I just sell on eBay. All my sales are on eBay only. I'm going to probably get into Poshmark. I do whatnot, but I don't ever talk about it because I don't do it very often. And, and not everyone does whatnot. And it's a it's a different thing. So I just sell on eBay. Uh, it can do D-list, relist, eBay, Poshmark, Ricari, possibly Depop. Never tried it. Yeah. So it can do all those. I'm going to probably cross list um, once it comes out with the cross lister. I don't want to pay another sixty dollars for a cross lister. I don't want to pay because Vindu or whatever forty or fifty or sixty, however much it is. I don't want to pay it, even though it's a write off. Right now, I'm getting plenty of sales on eBay, and Auto Posture is going to come out with the cross lister. So I'm just going to keep listing, and when it comes out with the cross lister, I'm going to do it. I already have a Poshmark account, everything's set up for it. So. 
If you guys have any questions over on YouTube and Facebook, always ask. Just sold outdoor research. Check it. Okay, again, Polo Ralph Lauren. No explanation here. Five bucks. And then with these, I do like, I will explain, I do like picking up patterns like this. I, I like picking those patterns up. <laughs> again, I pick up letters rather than numbers. So sizes like large, medium, extra large, rather than like neck sizes, 17, 17 and a half. I will pick up shoes. I actually picked up a whole bunch of shoes this morning. I washed them with my daughter's throw up blanket. So if you want shoes, you can buy them. But no, there's one much throw up on there or anything. But the wash the shoes in the sink. The ones that need to clean in the washer, I threw in the washer with the blanket. Um, these are Cole Hond, uh, grandiose. They're like the, the fly knit and uh, really good condition on the bottom. So a really good condition on the bottom. And these were only $8.99. So for $8.99, I've sold these before, hopefully in the last 90 days so I can list similar. Um, I sell those for around 40 bucks. Not crazy money. <clears throat> um, looks like a women's. Uh, that Capri, what size are the buttons? It's a men's. So I looked at that too. This is a men's. So the buttons, again, are on this side. So I don't know which way you're looking. But if I'm in the driver's seat of a car and the woman looks at me, she can see into my shirt. That's how I know if it's a men's. And I learned that from Reisner. I also know like the buttons are on a certain side. But if you want to make it really easy and triple check, women's in the passenger seat. You're driving a woman around. She looks over. She can see in your shirt. That's how you know if it's a men's shirt. If she can't see in your shirt, if she can't see in your shirt, it's a women's shirt. That's how I know what side the buttons are on. It's a quick quick way to figure it out. Um. Do you think auto posture will include cross-listing on lower tier? Uh, are there any tiers on auto posture? Yeah, so there's one lower tier with just auto posture, and they might. I don't know. And she might run deals. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Auto posture better be paying for uh, me for this, Andrew. I don't know. I don't know. Is Vanessa in here? I don't, I don't know. Vanessa, are you in here? Uh, don't explain these too much. I buy these. Really good, guys. Be on the lookout for these. Polo Ralph Lauren again. These are track pants. So you have they have to have the hit on them. They have to have the little logo on them. And you want to see, you want to see the um, jogger. So joggers, I guess you would say. The jogger at the bottom. They'll also have the strings and they'll also be like a fleece on the inside. The reason I'm telling you all this is because don't be mistaken by pajama pants. So but pajama pants might sell too, but the joggers sell way better. So I can't keep these in stock when I sell them at around $24.99 uh, plus buyer pay shipping. And these are less than a pound. These are about like uh, probably like 14 ounces. Um, these sell really well. So just be on the lookout for them. Make sure you know the difference between pajama and joggers. How much for the Jimi Hendrix? Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't comped it. I, I don't even know. I, don't, I haven't comped it or anything. I didn't comp any of this stuff. So it's big. It's a 3XL. 3XL tall. It's really big, oversized. So oversized. I don't know for sure. Uh, so you put, uh, so if you're a guy, you can see in her shirt. Exactly. So she can see in your shirt. And if you're a guy looking over, you can see in her shirt because her buttons, her opening would be, her opening would be this way, this way. So you'd be able to look over and see in her shirt. You got it. I just didn't want to say it. I'm trying not to be a perv, even though like my mind does go there. Um, just got some of those. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, you got any vintage vin Disney tees? I don't. Those always sell so quick. I don't. And actually, I put my vintage Disney stuff in my Poshmark or my whatnot. So anything I get that's vintage Disney, I put in my uh, whatnot show. The real reason women's buttons are on her left side, women used to have to have ladies help to get dressed. And the helper was mostly right-handed when she was buttoning up her. Oh, I didn't know that. That's, that makes sense. So most people are right-handed. Women have to get help when they get dressed in their corsets, maybe. Uh, do you think vintage Tommy Hilfiger stuff is coming back? Good question. I think there might be a chance. Let's find them. Let's find them. Okay, here we go. Shout out Casey. Casey messaged me the other day and said, listen, I just sold a pair of Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I think it was 60 or $70. Do 
She's like, they might be making a comeback. I'm like, what? I'm like, they've already came back. Are they coming back again? She sold a pair for $60 or $70. And guess what? I found the exact same pair she sold. No joke. Exact same pair. The hit right here. And then the Carpenter, Big Tommy logo right here on the side. So this stuff used to be really hot in like 16, 17, 2016, 17. And she sold a pair identical to these. So I paid $7.99 for these. Again, they're baggy. So I'm going to list them as skater, Y2K, baggy. Um, that's probably about it on those. Tommy Hilfiger, vintage. So I'm going to list these today. Stay tuned. I'm going to put those over into like list right now pile. Uh, they paid for the jacket now. Uh, what makes a good Disney vintage buy? If it's made in the USA and it's like got a good, good graphic, I think it's a good buy. And of course your buy cost, if it's a good buy cost. So like if you go to Burlington, they'll have Disney stuff there. I wouldn't, but you go to Target, they have Disney stuff there. You want to look for vintage Disney. It needs to be made in the USA. That's an easy. Come back, back. Come back, back. It's coming back, Dusty. It's coming back, back. It's a double comeback. Usually it's a 20-year thing, right? So I'm surprised if it's coming back again. But it could just be because they were baggy skater jeans. That stuff's hot right now. It's like Clueless. If you guys seen the movie Clueless, but they walk around their baggy skater jeans. Um, again, this is a Seahawk. So I will, this is a polo shirt. I might list this now. Yeah, I'll probably list this. I, I do, I'll list this polo uh, in the spring and summer. But um, NFL stuff, I usually hold off. Again, $5. These sell for about $18 or $19.99. They'll sell for a ton of money. Uh, is your YouTube about how you look up sold comps on eBay still up? Uh, I can't find it. Yes. So, Audra, it is. You should be able to go to YouTube. I'll show you real quick. So you should be able to go to YouTube. Um, go to my page. If you're on your mobile device, you'll go to my page. And... You go over to, um, you can go to playlists. So there'll be a, a tab for playlists. Go to playlists and you'll see reselling for beginners, tips for beginners. So pricing to resell, reselling for beginners and tips for resellers. I need to retitle that, but those are what those are. So playlist over there on my YouTube channel. It says I'm live. I'm live with you guys. All right, next item. I hit it nice at uh, one of the stores with women's clothing. So you guys are going to see all this stuff and whatnot. Again, I could sell it on eBay and get more, but I've told myself I'm going to sell all women's and whatnot. So here's a Burberry um, really lightweight cardigan with kind of like the, I don't know if it's, it's not like, I don't, it's kind of like the Nova check, but really lightweight cardigan, lightweight buttons, um, Burberry, it's authentic. Touched enough Burberry. Again, like we talked about earlier, if the tags are just barely tacked on like that, the tags are just barely tacked on like that, that's a good sign too. That's what you're looking for. But yeah, that will go and whatnot. And then this will go and whatnot. And you guys need to look this up now and come to whatnot and buy this for a steal. But I supposedly, this is a good brand. So I looked it up in the store. It was with the Burberry and it was with this other brand down here, which you probably know about. But you guys let me know. I think this is a good brand. I'll post it on uh, my Instagram, but it's a nice sweater. Baby got back. Desti, me and you, man, we talked. Where'd you go to high school, by the way? I forget. Um, found some new attacks. Tommy Hilfiger yesterday for $5.99. Make sure it's vintage. It's got to be vintage. Got to be vintage. Because what happened is Tommy Phil Hilfiger, when they came back in 17 and 18, Tommy was like, ooh, everyone likes our big hits and our Tommy. So they started making it again. And so, and then when they started making it again, people stopped wearing it again. So make sure it's vintage. Um, and you pronounced my name correctly. Audra, good. I hope so. I'm awful at pronouncing names. I freaking butchered kids' names all the time when I taught. Sorry about it. Uh, and spelling too. I'm awful at spelling. You always rock. That's not me. Okay. So here's the other item that will be in the whatnot show. So these are, what do we have? The athletic. So just stacking some stuff up. This is Veronica Beard. Veronica Beard. Um, I know this stuff sells for a ton at Nordstrom. And I think it's a blend. I don't know if it's got the fabric tag. So this is a cotton. Polyamide, alpaca, cashmere, wool, mole hair. 
It's got everything in it. It feels good. It feels good. But that'll go and whatnot for a dollar. Um, and at the same Goodwill, I found two pair of my favorite Under Armour pants. One of them are shorts. One of them with new with tags. These are the match play shorts. The match play shorts. One of them new with tags. Black, really good color. Black's probably the best color to pick up. That and white, actually. Um, and these were four dollars. Four dollars for those. I found another pair. These were four dollars. These are not new with tags. They don't have the stretchy on the outside, but they'll still sell for around $23.99 plus ship every time. Um, yes, corsets. Uh, I saw Tommy Alferian, and you you just start really looking at the jeans. They are good quality. Yeah, they're good quality, especially the jeans, really good quality. Um, so sir, so have you ever seen any 98? 2000 Ozfest shirts from Noblesville. I'd be interested in them for trading for uh, Ralph Lauren shirts for them. Yeah, no, I have not. I have not found. So uh, we have a concert venue really close to me and where all the people have come, rock bands and everything, and we'll find vintage. But I'll tell you this. Our Goodwills know about it now. What's up, Goodwill, if you're watching? I know you guys watched me. You told me. Um, on lives. They, if you go to shop, I went to shopgoodwill.com and I went – I narrowed it down to Indianapolis where I live and I looked at what they're selling in the men's clothing. And it's vintage t-shirts, vintage band shirts, vintage racing t-shirts, all vintage shirts. That's what they're selling. So I think I saw my mom's pull up because um, my daughter's sick. She's probably come to say hi. All right. Next item, untuck it. I've never found untuck it pants before. So Wayne the other day, K-Way shop, he found untuck it shorts, I think. I've never found shorts or pants untuck it before. I did a quick comp. They're over $20. They were $5, so I picked them up. And they're a good size. They're like a 34, 36, 32. It's a great size. Uh, did you chain your thrift days, surfs? Sean, I my thrift days are all over the place. And they'll continue. Here's another hat I got. It's I don't know how this will do. It's a camouflage bird dog. So camouflage bird dog. This I got with that Patagonia hat too. So, yeah, my thrifting days are all over the place. Um just depends how my week looks like daughter some six days stuff like that so yep 99 cents have you guys ever sold bird dogs hats i don't know i never have deer creek dusty it's deer creek for life they want to call it verizon wireless you guys know places they switch names to get sponsors right now it's called ruoff home mortgage center dumb it's called deer creek that's what it's called got these at the last thrift store too um i i paid 20 dollars for these here in my garage um, paid $20 for these, but I found the code and I looked them up. They're actually Ariat boots, leather riding horse or like riding boots or whatever. They are, uh, really good. The bottoms are in really good condition. I'm not going to have to clean them. The comps were over a hundred or around a hundred. So for $20, I did pay up for these Ariat boots. They're riding boots. I don't know. We'll see how they do. Um, same place. Got these Thursday boots. Thursday are a really good brand to buy. So Thursday boots. I've never found women's Thursday boots. And today's Thursday. Oh, my gosh. Today is Thursday. And they were $7.99. So you can see the 7Y on the bottom. That tells you how much they are. 7Y means $7. $7.99 for these Thursday boots. I think they'll do okay. Um, how do you know vintage Tommy? Because I grew up in that era. Like seventh, eighth grade is when Tommy was really big. We wore puffer jackets. We wore the big Tommy jeans. We wore all that stuff. So that's kind of how I know. But you just want to look for bigger hits. Um, you can look at where it's that made. Just go to eBay. Look up vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Look up sold comps. Look at highest price to lowest price. Look through, Scroll through the first few pages, and you'll see, like, what you want to be looking for. So what's up, Jared? Just as my first two items on eBay. Thanks for the motivation. Leah, let's go. Keep me Keep me posted. Are you in the search group? You're on Facebook. If you're in the search group, tag me when you get sales and tell me. I want to keep, I want to know. I want to know how it's going. Um, do you raise the price off the bottom of the shoes? I don't treasure nest. I don't. So this has that seven on them. I actually don't erase it. Um, even Ethan, he'll take a Sharpie and he'll just write over it. So he'll put a box, a Sharpie box on the bottom of the of shoes. And Ethan sells like 15 pairs of shoes a day. I was down there. Literally watched him do all of it, cleaning everything. Um, here's a pair of Mavi jeans. Again, I'm going to give these a try because Wayne sells them. 
Um, you know, I'm a big K, a big BKE fan of jeans, men's jeans, but um, I've sold a couple pair recently, and Wayne loves selling these brand, this brand. So I'm gonna try that. Hopefully they sell, and then well, that'll be the K way. Uh, you got it. You got it. Another 3XB Pima Soft Touch. We could talk about this one too. Uh, I miss how to tell Tom Hilfiger was vintage. Yeah, that's that's how I, I don't know. I just know because I wore it. Um, Posh Tick. I'm not calling you Tracy. It's Posh Tick for life. Uh, did you ever hear about Joey Lay uh, Antique Warehouse down in Louisville? I have it. Is it cool? I have not heard of it. All of our antique like warehouses and shopping malls have closed around here. We have like one. Um, except for my house. Um, how do you find the code? Um, the code on vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I, I've never looked for a code on those. If that's what you're talking about. Uh, where do you buy your, your colognes? Um, you, if, if you're being serious, my buddy who's big into colognes, he always like gives me some. Um, so the one I really like is the Ventus and it's like $400 a bottle. Isn't that freaking crazy. So pick up Tommy Hilfiger. Okay, Felix, Felix, you punk. Um, Pima Soft Touch 3XB Polo. Normally, I don't pick up polo shirts that are just plain, that are the small short sleeve, but this is a 3XB and it's a Pima Soft Touch. My picture will look something like this when I take it. It'll look something like that when I take my photo. And... That will sell for like $25. Again, I do like picking up short sleeve button up shirts. And this one is a seersucker gingham check. It's got everything going for it, baby. Um, and again, my picture will look something like that. It looks something like that. It'll show the tag, the, the horse, everything. It's all messed up now. Uh, Ariat, Ariat. How do I look up the style code? So for Ariat, the style code was, that one doesn't have it. It was right here. So for Ariat, I'll show over here first. So they have um, a style code right in there. I just went on Google and I Googled the style code because it was super long. So I Googled the style code on these and it came out with the exact boots. And then it had a name and then I could use that name and look over on eBay what the name was. So it's the only one who can agree with me about not removing price stickers. So it's the only one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The price stickers. On all that retail arbitrage stuff, I didn't remove half the stickers really like any of them but um i don't on the bottom of shoes i do not take off you can um preference whatever i don't take my time to take it off and they sell just fine the reason i don't is because if you've ever seen my video on like how i do my business how i store my stuff i don't put it in prepackaged bags i don't do an inventory SKU system i don't do that stuff because i found out i can i can be more efficient doing it the way i do it i don't need to do that um, and with the shoes, I listed it without taking the numbers off the bottom and they sell just fine. So I list them just like that. If I can, if I can be lazy without cutting a corner, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Um, and still get the same result. Uh, thanks for your help on your group Facebook. I've sold some, uh, some Mavi jeans. Okay. So hopefully those Mavi jeans will sell. Sorry. I meant to say area. It's okay. I can't spell very well either. Um, and I always type on the go, right? Uh, Panda buy, Panda buy. You better get uh, the teacher just kind of goodwill. You've taught us so much. You know what? Saving my. When I taught, it was I always told the managers, I'm like, you guys need to do. They had they had a military discount, they had um, a senior discount, never a teacher discount. I was always like, you guys need to do a teacher discount. And a lot of my friend teachers would shop there for to do stuff for projects with kids and whatnot, and they they didn't do it. I always complained about it, but. It doesn't get you anywhere. And they just are, they're the managers. It comes from up above, and I know that. So this is just a women's down North Face jacket. Again, this will go on whatnot for women's. And what I do with these, I don't pick all of them up, even if they're down. Um, I did sell one on eBay the other day. If I, if I found this and it had really bad neck sweat gross stuff on here, I sell on eBay. But on whatnot, I don't. I actually paid up for this, but I just couldn't pass this by. When it's down in North Face and not super expensive, I just can't pass it up. Um, that's my haul. That was all yesterday. That's 17 Goodwills. So 17 Goodwills yesterday with a lot of dust. That's how it was. So thanks for hanging out with me. Have any more questions? Go ahead. 
I think, like I said, I think my mom's here. So I'm going to go uh, see her. They're driving, they're driving away today and um, up north. And they probably came to check on my daughter because she's sick. Teacher and nurse discount. Oh, for sure. Nurses need a discount too. Everybody needs a discount. Like who serves as firefighters, police, everybody. Um, er, yeah. So um, do you pick up vintage Abercrombie no matter what the condition? I found some track pants uh, and have small stain. If they're vintage track pants with like the little uh, flying shoe on it, those do well. So the vintage Abercrombie fit track pants do well and the paratrooper pants do well. Um, if there's a little bit of stain, especially the paratrooper pants, I'd still pick them up. It cost me $5, remember, for my pants. So, um, Karen, that's what I would do. I would comp out, see, see what they look like online. But a lot of vintage stuff, people know they might have a stain. They might have a little bit of a flaw. The zipper might be broken on the the bottom of the leg, if it's like a zip up, how many items average cost per item? Uh, here, I don't know how many items I got, Felix. I don't know how many I got yesterday. Did you guys count? Were you guys counting while I was doing this? You should have counted. Um, here in Colorado, it's teacher discount on Thursdays with valid ID, as it should be. That's good. They should do that. Um, they did that at Salvation Army before Salvation Army closed here. How long did they take you? Holy smoke. Um, so we got all this stuff, nine to nine. So we thrift 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's our how long Goodwills are open for. So when he comes down here, or if I do an all-day thrift here, it's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We hit 17 stores total. Got all this stuff. Literally a mound. So that's how it is. Everyone should get a discount on the prices they charge. You're right. They should. Everyone should get a discount. But then you can go get some of the stuff that we talked about in this live that they don't know about and they're not going to know about. And it you can be they can be watching it's never going to trickle down far enough there's so many brands out there we'll get our discount i'll buy the brioni for five dollars that's my discount estimated turn on investment mm. so my average cost of goods is 525 felix if you want to get technical i'll show you so my last 90 days has my total sales have been fifty one thousand, right 51,000 and I've sold 921 items. So if you divide 51,000 by 921, you'll come up with a number around $55, $54. So my average selling price per item has been 54, but I've also done retail arbitrage. So there's just some items have I've been paying up for. So some things have been $14 and stuff like that. So through this month, my average cost of good might have been like $8, but that's where I'm at. So profit margins, probably 4X how much I paid per shirt, 5X, 6X, something like that per item. What's up, Anita? So there you go. Uh, and, I, and I don't talk about that stuff to boast. I just talk about that stuff to, to be real and talk numbers. And I'm full-time at this. It was a lot less when I was part-time and it is what it is. Um, I would like that number to be... 500 items sold in that big number because then I would sell a lot less and I'd have more time on my hands. So uh, I need dashboard total 90 days. It's actual accurate. Is that it? Is that is that what you want to feel like? Thumbs up. Um, I know everyone likes to go to Goodwills early in the day, but I have uh, good luck right before closing. Yeah. So the last Goodwill we went to yesterday, we got there at um, 840. They closed at nine. We were those people. And that's when I found that Wallace and Barnes $120 jacket. I found that other um, jacket that was expensive. Um, I found those Ariat boots at that place and those Thursday boots. So all at that last Goodwill. So it's just hit and miss. It's hit and miss. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you guys coming in. You can always watch us on Facebook and YouTube later if you want to. Again, appreciate you. As always, if you ever have any questions, hit me up. IG me. Uh, hit me up on any of my videos, whatever, just to at me. And I'll... Uh, I'll talk to you. So thanks, Poshtick. Thanks for coming in.